the thing about doing this for days, it gives you lots of time to think. A finger cheese, who has left some comments on the quilt project, seems to be following it, was speaking about being inspired to do things, quote, regardless of their importance. And I answered, important to whom? We all have different criteria, what we think is important. Lots of people think that what's important is, is connected to what is lucrative, what is worth money, what could you get paid for, what is it worth. And went on to mention, finger cheese went on to mention that sometimes what is creative and important is not also important to others around you. I've been very lucky that way. My daughters have given me lots of slack to be doing my thing. Maybe sometimes they wished I was being a better mother, but they never made me feel like that. Why do people think that the things you do with creative energy are not as important as your job, say, or your social responsibilities? But when you are giving rain to your creative spirit and your creative energy, somehow or other, that doesn't have the same kind of value I think that's just completely backwards. If I'm not connected to my creative energy, I'm not a very happy person. Because I'm not a very happy person, I'm actually not able to be as generous and giving. It's as essential to me as air. It's it's for survival, and I don't really have much choice about it. When I'm at my best, I'm so completely absorbed in creating something. I think actually that creative energy is very close to sexual energy. And when you're creating a work of art, you are in the same transported mindless, timeless state, that's when you're creating a baby. The baby not necessarily being a necessity to the experience of making it possible to have a baby. It's ecstasy, a type of ecstasy. So, my word to finger cheese would be to do what you feel inspired to do and importance be damned. This quilt isn't really very important. It's not important to me except for giving me the avenue to create. The quilt itself is not that important. I'm not thinking about what price it might bring, what it's worth, who would want it. I'm not thinking of any of that. I just want to do it. I want to get lost in it. I think one reason that people feel they have to denigrate what you're doing and uh, saying that it's not important or it could, they can also, the same type of criticism can also be you try to do too many things. I think that both of these criticisms really come from envy. Usually the people that are saying that you're doing too many things or you're too involved with doing so-called unimportant creative things are not creating themselves. They don't have 
that part of their life uh, active at all. And to see somebody else doing it, having fun, doing something creative, is not also to be envied, but makes you even a little bit frightened. The thing you might have to worry about would be your thinking whether it's important or not. We don't want to start thinking like them. I'm ready to do another roll up. So I've gone this far. I really think I'm a better person and a kinder person when I have spent time in the day on a creative operation of some sort. I feel better. I'm quitting now for the day. I have to go to teach. But I'm happy because I spent this time. When my kids were really little, if I didn't practice the harpsichord, I was, then I was really cranky. It meant sometimes I had to get up at four o'clock, five o'clock to practice. But once I had done that, I was happy and willing to give what time I, uh, I had all of it to my daughters because I had taken care of myself and given myself what I needed, what which was the expenditure of creative energy. I get energy from spending energy. So although people may think it's not important, it's just because they're not aware. If you weren't doing it, they would see how important it is.